it's all well and good to have the best green marketing strategies, sustainable innovations that are clearly labelled, well communicated, but we still need to produce our marketing materials and our communication messages. We can't go on to contradict ourselves in how we actually produce those. As a marketing agency in this area, we believe that we try to balance what was termed the triple bottom line by John Elkington, the people, planet and profit. Each of those has got a different return on investment calculation and true cost attributed to it. We believe that done effectively with the right targeting produced in the right ways, it makes a lot of sense to still continue producing communications materials because if we put that great innovation out there, we put those products and services that we market quite regularly that will save 70% of energy or they'll reduce waste here and there, then the overall net return on investment environmentally might be more positive through producing those communications, they become part of that overall battle. But what we can do to actually really reduce the impact of our communications is to consider how we're producing them. So we need to look at, first of all, things like what we're producing them on, the inks that we're using, the mix between our printed and digital communications, the chemicals involved in those processes, making sure that we're working with the right suppliers that got the right environmental management um, and re resource efficiency strategies behind it. We look at clever ways of creating these things. So for instance, we do mailers that don't necessarily have the envelopes involved. We do things that are maybe of different sizes and weights. Um, we offset them with carbon offsetting. Um, we look at the take back programs, the recycling and um, disposal methods that are available for what we produce. But most importantly, we make sure that we significantly target our communications to the right segments, bring out the messages in the right ways, we make sure that they're theatrical, they're attention grabbing and therefore the return on investment financially but also in terms of the products and services that then go on to be sold and the social and environmental difference these can make um, can be justified at a particular level. So an example of this is sustainabilitycommunications.org earlier in the year launched in partnership with some other organisations this interesting infographic of situations they believe based on impact analysis when you should print or not print. So it's these sorts of considerations that can help us get the messages out but then consider the channels that we're using and how we're actually producing them. <coughs> 